let me add header for this line g or a p h i'm going to copy the method one because we are going to follow the method one throughout the remaining section and changing into the line the default plot is line so there won't be any changes required for this method command lines but there are some attributes which are available to make more visualize the line graph for example color c o l o r is equal to c r e a n the line color is changed to green and then style line style s t y l e the dotted line see dotted line and then line width line w i d e h equal to 3 the thickness of the line is changed to the width of 3 the last one marker oh this will help us to identify the plotting data point see five different points are plotted in this graph by using the value x and y this is line graph the next one bar graph let me add header for that b a r g r a p h i'm going to copy this entire line from line graph and place it here the only small change is instead of plot you have to give bar and remove all this keyword we will add some different keyword for this we just click shift and enter after removing this keyword and change the plot to bar you will see the bar graph see how simple is it let me add some attribute to that the first attribute color c o l o r equal to red and if you click shift enter the bar color has changed to red the next attribute is width it is equal to 0 0.6 this will change the width width of the each bar okay if you just change to one you will see some difference see the width is changed to the value one let me change it back to the value point seven so that each bar graph will be separated each other and then the next keyword edge color black see the edge edge of each bar is colored with black okay if you click shift tab you will find the available attribute options okay height width and bottom if you scroll down below you could see there are many more line width text label you can try it on your own based on your requirement and this will give you some insight about that okay you just try with different other parameters or attributes with bar graph the next one horizontal bar h o r i zero in horizontal bar the syntax line is almost similar to the vertical bar you just copy from the above cell and place it below and then just remove all the attributes and add h bar h which represent the horizontal bar let's click okay some of the attribute like color c o l o r if all it's available for this horizontal bar c r e a n also you can add the edge color okay. the border color is changed to black the next graph is scatter 
plot. This one is almost similar. Just copy the line graph, okay? Line graph and place it, it below and change the plot keyword to CA TTR and then remove all the attribute which we used for the line graph because there are some different attributes are there for the scatter but you just after removing these two and you just click and shift enter there is no caps lock all are case sense to you just need to be take care of that okay you got it right scatter is the, the dotted graph there are some attributes are there Let's check color C O L O R equal to green B R E N. And the color of this data point is changed to green. And then marker M E R K E R marker equal to O. Oh, it's a circle. This will up arrow. Okay. So that there are different types of attributes or parameters available for each plot. Each plot. If you want to know, you just Google the word matplotlib and then the plot the C A G T E R scatter plot. If you want to know any other different plot, you just add the plot name here. Okay, scatter pi line plot, and then you click this one. This will show us the parameters okay here is our marker we can pass different marker value and then alpha line width here also you can pass line width h color okay so these are all the available parameter which you can pass in the scatter function fine the next graph is pi graph p i e G -R -A -P -H. In this session, I am going to show you how I learned the new thing from the Google, from the internet. Okay, pie graph. You just search the keyword matplotlib pie chart. Okay, you will find n number of search results, but you just choose the one from matplotlib plotlib dot org because it's the official package matplotlib package website. You will find some description and the parameters which are available to pass inside the pie graph. At the end, you could see some example. Okay, here are the some of the example. Let me show you some basic pie chart example. You just click that icon. This will redirect to the source code page. You just copy this entire line from here to your Jupyter notebook and click shift enter. You will see pie chart okay here what they are doing they are assigning the labels frog horse dog logs and then size out of 100 percentage they are partitioned into four different sections 30 plus 45 is equal to 75 90 and then 100 and they are exploring some piece of slice they are exploring the second slice this one Okay, fine. And then figure, they are creating same as the figure and then they are calling the function for this axis pi and then they are passing some attributes to that. If you remove this attribute, click shift enter, you will see some basic pi chart. Okay. And then add one by one each attribute. You could see before and after so that you can easily understood what are the changes are doing for each parameters now I'm going to add the explode alone this will explode the slice 2 and then see the second one is exploded and then again I'm going to add label this will add the label for each size see frog logs dogs and hogs now I'm going to add percentage. 
the value I'm going to display it in the pie chart as a percentage format. For that, I'm going to add auto pack. It's a percentage. And removing that, come on. See each value are representing in the percentage format. And then the last two attributes are shadow and angle. This one will add the shadow on each slice and the last start angle will show the 90 degree rotation. If you just take shift enter, you will see it's just rotated to 90 percentage and then the slice 2 will explode it out of other slides in the pie graph. Okay, fine. This is how you have to follow the steps to learn new graph from the matplotlib library. See, we have seen only some of the syntax in the above pie chart. Now I'm just copying the entire line from the matplotlib, how we understood each. By doing this way, we can explore many more graphs which are available in the matplotlib site. So I'm just showing the way how we can explore each graph available in the matplotlib. You can follow the same method to explore more graphs and try it on your own. Okay, fine. Here we are going to see grouped bar chart. This one is almost similar to the bar chart, but here we are going to compare two column with a single column. For example, uh, the comparing quarter one, quarter two car sales in the year 2011. Okay. This is the use case. Let's check some other example in the internet. And if you search the matplotlib group bar chart, you will find this result from matplotlib.org. You always have to refer the matplotlib.org. Okay. Here they have provided some example. You just copy this entire line and paste it on your Jupyter notebook. And click shift and enter. You will find the grouped bar chart result. Let us check the syntax. What they are doing here, they are importing packages at the top and then they are creating labels G1, G2, G3, G4, G5 and then they are having two different array, men's and women's. Okay, what they are going to do here, they are comparing men's value, the first position and the women's first position which means the index 0 and comparing with G1. Okay, here these two are integer, but the label has a character. We can't use character to plot the x axis. So, what they are doing in the next step, they are converting the labels to integer, integer format. If you just print this one, you will find what they are doing here. They are converting into the The small one I put it capital X you just replace the word small X see 0 1 2 3 4 because G1 G2 is the label but the value which is used to plot in X axis are 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay whenever you create some value for plotting then that value should be the integer if you want to that in character you can use the label concept and convert that label to integer value by using np dot range and then the width width of each bars okay the width of each bar and then what they are doing on the next step they are creating figures and axis on the same line by using plot dot subplot functions and then they are using two different value for men's and women rex1 and rex2 Okay, here see what they are passing, label is men and women and the width is same for both the graph and what the, which value they are passing, men means and women means. Here they are using x axis, the entire x axis divided by 2 which means the overall width is 0.35 but they are dividing into two sections. Okay, fine. The first half for the men and the second half for women. Let me visually show you. See the entire length is 0 0.34 because they have provided the width is 0 0.35. From this 
with their partitioning the first half for men and the second half for women see first half for for that they are subtracting the value fine and then they have this one you have already known they are setting y label title x ticks and x ticks label and legends this one you, you haven't seen before because x ticks is the value okay this one is x ticks labels are they are changing the value to label g1 g2 g3 see if you remove this one you will see 0 1 2 3 and 4 if you want to show the actual label then you have to pass set x ticks label and with the labels then the each integer value re replaced with the respective value g1 g2 g3 and then this one this one is nothing but to differentiate each color at the top of the circle this is called the legends okay if you remove this one you will see that will remove the legend small rectangular box will be removed and this will x axis and then this one for auto label they are populating the label on each bar top 20 25 for that they are using some logic you just remove this one at this moment this one is not required if you want you can just put it as it is and find it based on the value because they are calculating from the rect okay see R E C T. Rect is the value and they are calculating it fine you just remove this one and click shift enter see this is how you will get the actual grouped bar chart we will see this one in the advanced section as of now this is will give some insight about how to explore the chart from the matplotlib.org if you want you can use this entire logic to put some value on the top of this bar if you don't want you just cut this code you just remove this code from this line and shift and click shift enter you will see the grouped bar chart okay fine and the next one histogram a s t o g r a n if you search the keyword matplotlib histogram graph this is how it looks like okay for that we need some huge number of value for that i am going to use numpy array past import package numpy as np and, and generating random value up to 100 np dot rean random dot okay this one for result reproduce because np dot uh, random n will produce based on the pesto code so every time when you run this cell the under array will vary for reproducing the same value multiple time whenever we run the cell i'm going to use np dot random dot c okay and then x equal to here i am going to use the value 60 plus 10 into np dot random dot ran b n inside that you have to pass the number of count under okay let's change the option okay and then figure f i g equal to p l p dot f i g u r e figure this one we have already seen inside that you have to pass the figure size for x axis and y axis value 8 comma 6 okay the next line axis a x equal to f i g dot add s u b dot in that one row one column and position one 
and then set inside that I am passing title keyword distribution of students percentage for histogram graph okay percentage and then y label and the x label x label is equal to count and y label is equal to count x label equal to pr and j and the function ax dot is x plt dot show that's it you just click shift enter you will see the histogram graph see how it looks like print x see yeah thousand okay value we are used to plot the histogram I hope this will give you some clear idea about how to create the histogram graph if you want you just search the keyword matplotlib histogram graph you will find the result from matplotlib.org okay if you click this one this will redirect to some documentation where you could see some example here some examples they have provided what they are doing here here also they are using and numpy random random n inside that they are passing some 10000 1 lakh value for generating random numbers and then this one we have already seen in the pie chart on the same line they are creating both figure and axis and then each axis they are calling twist and passing bin value okay you just click copy paste this line on your Jupyter notebook we could see this similar result see the similar result in the histogram okay fine at last we are going to the last topic okay where we have seen the index yes here is the index so far we have completed this topic and only the subplots and subplot using grid spec S subplot which we have already covered see here using axis different axis you can create different subplot on your same figure okay you just copy this one and paste it in below here are the subplot for partition on your same figure what I'm going to do now is I'm just copying this line from above and placed it on each subplot. For example, I'm just copy this entire one and paste it here. Removing the figure line and axis and AX1. Okay inside that passing ax1 and replace all ax to ax1 and remove this plot dot so and if you click shift enter the first partition will show the line graph the likewise you can copy and paste one more like pi use this one pi chart and place it below and use the axis ax2 and remove the figure you just remove this line completely and add ax2 and here ax2 and remove this one and shift enter see here the second one position 2 has changed to pie chart now what you have to do you have to remove this partition with some other like uh, 
histogram or grouped bar chart or scatter plot horizontal bar or a yeah, single bar you can use this any of this cell logic and replace this sub bar okay now you understood right the only different is you have to use different axis for plotting different values so that each axis will populate a yeah, different gaps on the same figure okay fine the last topic grid spec grid spec grid spec this one is almost similar to the subplot but it's a different method to create multiple partition on a single figure i am going to refer my reference notebook where i have created for myself okay you just copy and paste this one see import grid spec this is the package you have to import for creating a different uh, plot on a same figure and then this one is same line figure plot dot figure in that figure we are going to create 3 into 3 which is 3 row and 3 column okay fine now just run this cell first you could understood okay see for the first entire row they are displaying yes same graph what they are using gs grid spec grid spec 3 row 3 column which means 3 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 it's a column here what they are doing for the axis one they are calling the starting position and here the end axis position is slicing complete column it means 0 1 2 if you remove this one you will see if you want you can copy and paste this entire line one more time you could see only one for example 2 3 change the row 1 and 2 see 1 2 3 this one you will see and then if you want to create three the three graph on the two row then you have to copy and paste this one and row one row but it the column is starting position is zero and ending position is zero and then here starting position is one and the ending position is two here the starting position is two zero one two and the ending position is three you click see three different graph now you understood right it's a slicing is the row this one is column based on your requirement you have to modify the starting and ending position so that it will uh, partition different uh, portion for in a single figure i hope this will give you some insight about the grid spec once you created this one the same method whatever we seen in the subplot axis you have to use this logic here for plotting to change the axis okay and to don't forget to change the axis name because this will override the each graph if you have different axis name then the each axis will give you some different graph now i am going to call using axis 1 see here if you want to change the different axis change it axis to x5 and this will populate sorry here a5 here to you have to change a5 see likewise you can use different axis for plotting a different graph i hope this grid spec concept will give you some insight and the idea to explore more in that thank you don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel learn to teach mission Thank you